Howdy guys, Mac with Double Tap. Uh, so I built this hunting calculator last night, uh, <coughs> and you have to excuse me, I'm really sick. And I'll tell you, and part of why I'm sick is how this came to be. So I'm at the range the other day, public range, and uh, this guy is shooting at 200 yards, and he's like, man, these mill dots don't work, they suck. And I said, well, why is that? He says, well, I'm holding on the second mill and I'm not hitting a target at 200 yards. I said, well, what do you mean? It's not a bullet drop calculator. It's a mill dot. They don't work the same. He's like, well, I don't understand. So I sat there and I tried to explain it. And I got out a piece of paper and a pencil and went around the sub. So that's why I built this calculator. Because there's a lot of people that go out and buy these, you know, the standard MRAD or mill dot reticles. They really don't know under, understand how to use them. Uh, they don't understand the math, and that's fine. Uh, mill dots can still be an effective tool, and I'm going to show you how here in a minute. Uh, so, there's a couple things you need to understand. Difference between MRAD and American scopes. <coughs> so, an MRAD scope will typically be graduated on the turrets as far as zero point zero or point one, point two, point three, point four, point five, up to one. So there'll be 10 clicks to one. An MOA scope will say either a quarter inch at 100 yards, half inch at 100 yards, eighth inch at 100 yards. So you need to know whether or not what you have. The second thing you need to know is whether you have to have a first focal plane scope or a second focal plane scope. So a first focal plane scope, as you adjust the magnification, the size of the crosshairs will change. On a second focal plane scope, which if you didn't know what a first focal plane scope is, you probably have a second focal plane scope. Uh, a second focal plane scope, and it just struck me, I've got that four hole plane. Uh, a second focal plane scope will, uh, will, uh, the, the size of the crosshairs always stay the same. So it's important to understand that if you have a second focal plane scope, you can only use mills for ranging and sighting at maximum magnification, normally. <coughs> there, I, ha I did see a scope, the guy, I argued with the guy and he pulled out the book and showed me and I was wrong. He had a, like a four to 12 power scope that mills were only mills at 10 power. So you gotta read your books, I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, here's our calculator. Uh, please, you check. You go check out the YouTube channel. Uh, there'll be a link to this video. I haven't built it yet, obviously it's not linked. Uh, Daily2a.com, you will be able to download this Tar or this calculator in the printable target section, because that's the only place I have to put it, of daily2a.com. So go to daily2a.com, go to printable targets, and this will be called Mildot Hunting Calculator. Uh, so there's a couple different sections to this, but I'm just going to start walking you through how to use it, how to, you know, how it works. So the first thing you need to know is your target size. Uh, we're going to talk about the average adult white-tailed deer being that we're a week away from hunting season, right? So, uh, in northwest Pennsylvania, the average adult white-tailed deer from the ground to the shoulder is about 36 inches tall. Uh, we need to know that for ranging purposes. Because when you range with mill dots, the first thing you need to know is, okay, so, uh, here real quick so if my deer I should have a picture ready for this and I, I apologize I don't uh, actually will no I don't okay so if your deer is from the you put the crosshairs on the feet and let's say the deer is exactly four mil tall so I don't know if you're seeing this little crosshairs I sure hope so one mil two mil three mil four mil so if your deer is four mil tall, how far away is it? Well, you don't know. And that's what we're gonna, that's what this calculator is going to 
<coughs> excuse me, calculate. When I was at the range the other day with this guy, it was raining and I'm so sick. Anyway, so you go back here and we know the average white-tailed deer is now 36 inches tall. And that's important to know because what that's telling us, if, back to our, our example, okay, if we were over here and that deer from the feet to the shoulder was four mils, you come over here to data and you go down here to four mils and it tells us that that deer is 250 yards away. That's how ranging with mil, because mils are a known number. One mil at 100 yards is 3.6 inches. And because it is that 3.6 inches, if you go to the table, uh, this is also on there, it's, all, it, it's under table. Uh, last tab, and I tried to put links, because if you're using these for your phone, with your phone or your tablet, sometimes using links to each page is easier. So if we go to here our table, we know that at 100 yards, one mil is 3.6 inches. <coughs> at 200 yards, that same one mil is 7.2 inches. 300 yards, 10.8 inches. I also, because if you get into some of these big, big ones, like 10 mils at 1,000 yards is 360 inches. Well, how many, how, what's 360 inches? Well, it's 30 feet. So there's a quick reference table for that. Back to data. So if you change this, let's say you're going to go hunt an, an adult bull elk. And you range that bull elk. You go back here and you put the, the uh, crosshairs right at the bottom of his feet and his shoulders at that same uh, four mils high. Well, does that mean that if it's 250 yards away? No, it doesn't. So it's 4 mil, 250 yards, is for whitetail. If we change this to an adult bull elk, 59 inches, that 4 mil means that animal is 410 yards away. That's what this calculator does. This calculator is going to do all the math to get to this and make you understand what's supposed to happen. We're going to talk about adult whitetail deer because this is whitetail deer season in Pennsylvania. So... First thing you're going to do is enter in your average height. You can Google this. It's not hard. Your area, if you're hunting mule deer or whatever, I threw some some different sizes on the side because that's what I found on the internet. Uh, I know that our typical white-tailed deer, when I, when I range white-tailed deer in Pennsylvania, I range them at 36 inches. Now, I'll tell you, when I was in Oklahoma, the deer are a little bit smaller down there. I ranged them at 30 inches. I did this mass at 30 inches in Oklahoma. So... You need to know what the average size deer or your deer in your area are. All right, we're going to move to the next thing. So the next thing we need to know is our ballistics. So with modern Google, Insta, Google, Twitter, Gram, we know all the load data on just about everything. So I put a link to a handy-dandy ballistic calculator on here uh, <coughs> from gundata.org. Great ballistics calculator. I've used it before. Now, I know somebody's saying, you need to actually know the data of your gun. Yeah, that's best. Not everybody has access to a range, uh, a four or five, six hundred yard range to verify. Uh, you got to have, you know, a chronograph. Not everybody's hand loading. So, what gun data has done is made this handy dandy calculator. So, you get in here first and let's pick our caliber. Let's, I'm hunting with 308 uh, Winchester. And let's say I am using, and there's all kinds of preloaded data in here. Let's say I'm using Winchester Silver Tip 168 gram ballistic points because that's actually what I'm going to use. Uh, now we're going to go down here, we're going to click Advanced Options. Your zero range, you need to know what your rifle zeroed at. Shooting angle is irrelevant. Sight height over bore. This is a kind of important. It, it's really important the farther out you get. <coughs> so, what you're going to do is take a tape measure. I wish I took a picture of this, too. Take a tape measure, hold it roughly in the center of the barrel of your gun. R on the side of the gun, right where the scope is. And then, roughly to the center of your scope, which will be a turret is, whatever that distance is. Uh, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half inches. Just get close. I mean, it, it is important, but for hunting level accuracy, not so much. 
So we don't care about wind or angle if you know all that. So in here under distance show, we're going to put 1,000 yards because we're hunting whitetail. We're never going to shoot a whitetail over 1,000 yards. We can, but we're not going to. And for distance steps, turn that to one yard. There's a reason for that. Just put it on one yard. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit calculate. So we're going to keep going back and forth to this, I promise you. Sure, camera's still on. I'm not talking to myself. Okay, so now we have all our ballistics data. And what it's telling us is with 100 yard zero, do, 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 here at 100 yard zero, there's our zero. Okay, so we don't care about any of these positive numbers. We, it's the negative numbers. Now, it's important for our calculator. Do not enter the minus sign in the calculator. So what we need to know is because... One mil is a thousand yards. One point five mil is six hundred and sixty-seven yards. If you want to know all, if you want to plug in all this data, if you go to the full chart, here is height in mils and all the quarters out to ten mils. You can plug all that in there. We're not doing that. This is kind of more advanced user or <coughs> OCD guy that wants to know it all. I came, I sat down and I did all the charting and I decided, you know what? Your average guy in a field, when he's cold and all that, is not going to get into quarter mils. Especially if you were hunting with a rounded mill dot scope, which is typically the ones that you're going to see on deer hunter level guns. Uh, if you have a true MRAD scope that's all divided out, you can get as accurate as you want. Most of the guys are going to go one mil, one and a half mils, two mils, two, and that's why I did this this way. So we need to know our distance at a thousand yards. So we go back to our sheet, all the way down here to a thousand yards, because that's one mil. Let's just grab it and go. All right, thousand yards drop. Three hundred ninety-nine point six eight. Go back to our calculator. 399.68 inches. So, 667 yards. And, I, and somebody's going to go, I don't know why he didn't speed up. Somebody wants to know. You may get it. Somebody wants to know. We're going to add 667 in here. Because that is at a mil and a half. So, 130 130.49. 130.49. 130.49. All right, 500 yards. And what these distances are is because of the size of our animal. 60.47. because of the size of our animal. So from the ground to the shoulder was that animal was one mil tall. So actually what that means is is that animal fit from right here to crosshair to the bottom or to the middle of that mill dot. That's one mil tall. So a half a mil is half that distance. A mil and a half is uh, I'm actually kind of liking this move of the picture around pointer because it's giving me index points. So that deer would be a half a mil tall. That would be roughly 2,000 yards. Nobody's taking that shot, not with a deer rifle free in. That deer's one mil high. It is roughly 1,000 yards away. So if that deer's that tiny in it, now remember, second focal plane, maximum magnification. Uh, so you put the crosshairs on the deer, and let's say it takes up more than this. So, right here at this point is five, okay? So, you can use the bottom, too. You have ten full. We have, from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get ten full mils in there to deal with, right? So, you don't have to put the crosshairs on the feet. You know, let's say you pull up and that deer's almost filling up the, but you can get the feet in there and, it, you know, you put the feet right there. Well, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can do all, uh, these. this is a very effective tool. Once you start learning how to use mills, you're going to want to learn how to use mills. 
All right. <coughs> so let's go get our data finished. So next thing we need to know is 400 yards. Back to our chart. 33.19 yards now you see why I had you actually ch you could round this any way you wanted but it doesn't cost you anything to use uh, one yard at a time and get the exacts every little bit helps right so we have 333 yards, which is 19.99. Hey, we're going to call that 20 feet, or 20 inches, I mean. That's just the way that is. So that's a solid 20. 286. Um, 12.92. Remember, do not add the minus. 0.92. You will throw the calculator all off. 250. And you notice as we get closer to the 100 yard mark, these numbers are getting closer together. It's because, remember, one mil at one mil at 100 yards is 3.6 inches. That same mil at uh, a thousand yards is 36 inches that's why it's growing it's not actually growing it's one mil radian imagine a slice of a pie the further away you get from the tip of the pie it gets bigger same things happening here right so uh, back to our data 250 uh, uh, 8.62 8.62. Now, if you've noticed, at 250 yards with this particular bullet load that we selected, we've only got 8.62 inches of bullet draw. Now, here's the really th cool thing about these calculators. If you guys have watched my maximum point-blank range video, and you incorporate mill dots into this, this becomes one of the most effective tools. I'm not going to get into it. This is a deer hunting machine if you use maximum point blank range with because because I'm all right, I'm not gonna confuse I don't want to confuse anybody. If you're if you didn't look at maximum point blank range, I'm not gonna confuse you. So hundred yard zero. Now we need to know about two twenty two. Uh <coughs> Two twenty two, we got five point nine. So, what's the average kill window? Now we're going down two hundred. What's the average kill window of white tailed deer? It's like sixteen, eighteen inches, right? Oh no, eighteen inches is probably the full body height. So it's a, it's a solid foot anyway. Uh, so you got twelve inches of window to hit. Well, now we're down to four point one five inches. So at 200 yards, our bullet variance is half the window of the kill range, but we're going to keep going. 182. 182 is 2.95. 2.95. This is going to print this out pretty hand, but I just picked the bullet. Uh, so 167. 2.10, 154, 1.4, we'll call that 9. Yeah, is it really, does it really matter if you're round? Yeah, not really, but I am. I just have it. 143. 1.05. I, I assure you, if you round, if you take 1.05 and change it to 1.04, there is not anybody watching this video on, or there's nobody on this video that that hundredth of an inch is going to matter in the way you shoot. In most cases, the scope and the gun and the ammunition will outshoot 
the guy holding it every time. So, uh, 133. So now we are at under an inch, 0.71. And honestly, I wouldn't even continue now, but I did the video. Because now we're at three quarters of an inch. That was a buck and a quarter. 0.48. Now we're at a half an inch. And I mean, literally, we're talking 25 yards. Let's do one in the middle just for fun. 111. Now it's taking too long. Point one seven inches. All right. Point one seven. So now we know all of our <coughs> uh, distances. And the reason why it really wasn't worth putting anything in, if you look over here at the holdover section. So with our 36 inch deer at a thousand yards, if you're going to hold over, you're going to hold over 11 point. Uh, one mils so you don't have 11.1 mils in your scope right so you could also dope and hold which what that means is you could turn the turret say for five and then hold the other six one or if you have 11.1 minutes of elevator or, you know if you have 11.1 mil radians in your turrets you could just dope it which means turn the turrets uh, your average deer hunter is not going to make a thousand yard shot. Your average deer hunter probably doesn't make much over 50 yard shots, honestly. But, you know, you get out into these open areas and open field hunters, and, I, and that's probably where the most deer are missed. So, uh, let's get down into the usable, really usable ranges. So, with this gun, and if you could verify your bullet velocities and go back into your calculator and adjust that. So if you look at your original calculator under the advanced options, I'm sorry, it's not even, uh, uh, you know, your initial velocity, you can change this number. You can change your bullet weight, your ballistic coefficient. If you know that, you can put all your core data in here. These are fantastic. Uh, or like I said, just pick one. So, and you can compare bullets on this. This is the great part about this calculator. This is a fantastic calculator from gundata.org. <coughs> I use it all the time. But, uh, okay. So, back to the calculator. Uh, I'm hopped up on cough syrup, so, yeah, this is going to be like the ADD version of this calculator. I hope it works. Uh, so, let's say you're out in the field. You pull up your handy dandy little range calculator, or you you see a deer it runs out there, it stops. You have all day to look at it. You put the crosshairs on the feet, and it goes up here one, two, three, and a half mil dots. Well, shit, how far away is that? Well, let's see. Go back to our data. Three and a half mils. It is two hundred and eighty-six yards away. So, you go from there and go, okay, it's 286 yards away. How far should I have to hold over on it? 1.3 mils. I, I, how, how can I make this any more easier, guys? I mean, this is really... There it is. So, you don't need to know anything. You went in there, and we know how big our deer is. We know roughly what our bullet drops on the gun you're using is. <coughs> I've just done all the math and I told you everything you need to know. So, if the deer is 5 mils, it's telling you it's 200 yards away, you should use a .06 hold, half a mil hold on. It means, instead of putting the crosshairs on the vital, you're going to go up one half mil radian. Uh... And a mil radian, back to the record, one mil radian is from crosshair to center of dot. Center of dot, center of dot, center of dot, center of dot. Actually, in most scopes, the distance between 
the crosshair at the bottom of the dot is three quarter meridian. You know, obviously half half. Some of them put hash marks in in the middle. That's handy. But uh, so I didn't get into the three quarters and all that holds. But you know, roughly there's a half distance. So if I had to make a half a mil hold, I would actually hold. And I really hope you can see this. <laughs> I would actually hold right there, you know, halfway down. So let's look at a, you know, a little bit longer shot. Let's say you you throw it up there and that deer is two mils tall. Well, that's telling you, okay, 500 yard shot, I need to hold 3.4 mils over. So 3.5 will get it done. Uh, you, nobody here is can, needs to be concerned about uh, Point four and point five shooting at a deer freehand at 500 yards. So, one, what I say? Go to this, going to be the ADD version. Uh, 3.4 mil hold. So, go back to our, our mil dot. So, one, two, three and a half. So, you're going to hold that right about there in the middle of that deer on your, on your kill zone and send it. So, that is what our handy dandy little cake calculator made was made for simple easy plug it in go get the data from gundata.org plug in your gun sight your rifle in at 100 yards now you can actually use these mil dots like this guy and i picked 308 for a reason uh, the, i don't know what ammunition he was using but so this cat has got a target set up at 200 yards right and he is trying to hit his 200 yard one inch bullseye with his second mill down because he thinks that is 200 yards. So he's holding a full mill high. So he is holding for 250 yard shot. So he's 50 yards off holding on that first mill. He's shooting at 200 yards. Where he should be holding is a half a mil. But he doesn't know that. And that's why I built this calculator. So, that's how that works. Now, the, the full version, you can go in and under all those other day, all the, in quarter yard increments, all the way out to 10 mils. If you want to do that, that's great. I don't care. This will also tell you, now, if you know... If you knew what an MRAD scope is, that you'd know your holdover is also your your turn. You know, so if you know my holdover is eleven point one, that means I'm going to turn eleven point one. Which, but if you are using an MOA scope, we're going to go down here because I'm pretty sure you don't have fifteen hundred nine and ninety. Eight clicks in your scope, and of course you don't. But uh, what you do have is uh, now. I'm looking for an instance. Looking for an instance. Looking for an instance. Three, four, two, three, one, seven. And it doesn't happen. Uh, I'm looking for a phenomenon. Okay, here's one. Okay, number of clicks. Oh, zero. That's what. Okay, that's what screwed me up. Uh, I'm sorry. I, my my. When I came over here to the full table, I was looking at this and I was like, "How can it want me to move four clicks here and six eight there?" I had while I was testing the data, put four in there just to make sure my math was working. Okay, sorry, I derailed me. So anyway, okay. So. Da, 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 da. Uh, you can put the full data chart in here and you can say, okay, I either need to hold over a 
at 333 yards I need to it's 20 inches bullet drop I need to do 1.7 inch uh, or 1.7 holdover 1.7 mil holdover it's also uh, turn up 1.7 MRADs if you have an MRAD scope or you can put 80 clicks of adjustment on your scope if you have a quarter inch click scope now let's talk about that to open the scope uh, I really should have made that autofill, and I will make it autofill. So, the version you have, whatever you type in here, will autofill here. I just apparently forgot to do that. Okay, so anyway. Uh, your MOA scopes, your Americanized scopes that have mill dots, and they are true mill dots in the reticle. But then they use M &A, uh, MOA to adjust the scope. Those really come in three different varieties, three different flavors. You're going to have half inch click, quarter inch click, that's probably most common, and eighth inch click. So I already I have it preloaded for half inch click. So uh, I should have auto filled this. Let's go down to 500 yards. That was one that matters. Auto fill to full data. Let me see it. I hate when it does that. There, 500 yards. So, uh, well, I didn't do that math either. I guess I got to finish this whole section. Let's go back to the full section. It's done. Okay. So, at 500 yards, 60.47 inches of data. I, I will make this all autofill over here, guys. So I'm sorry. I got ahead of myself apparently making the video. Uh, so here I have holdover and MRAD terms. Oh, it doesn't know what the data is there. Okay. So, yeah, don't look at the rest of this because it doesn't know what this data is to do this math. So, if you range a deer at two miles tall, it is 500 yards away. That means it's going to have 60.47 inches of bullet drop. I got the math wrong there altogether. I don't know what's going on. I will fix it. Let's just skip that altogether. So, uh, yeah, two mil height in deer, distance in yards, 500. 60.47 inches of bullet drop. Mill holdover is 3.4. Got that right. I don't understand why that ain't right. Uh, ah, it's not showing me holdover. That's MLA clicks. That's what's going on here. Much better. Uh, Now I'm understanding what's going on. I got I, I reversed the two when I was copying and pasting charts. Okay. Uh, I know you guys are probably going, I wish you would have been focused. Told you. Hopped up on cough servant. MOA. This is free. I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. Uh, I'm hopped up on cough servant. I feel really bad. I'm trying to make you guys something that's handy. The whole reason I made the dope chart was I wanted to make this like I said, originally, it's set up so you can take it and put it on your phone or put it in the cloud or on a Google Drive and pull it up in the field. So I wanted to make a little dope chart so you can enter all that data in and have it all right there, poof, pop up and go. And then the final table here for uh, getting a chart. But the full version that I upload, I will fix the dope chart before I put... Uh, upload this to daily2a.com I assure you and that's where you're going to find it go to daily2a.com link will be in the description go to printable targets uh, and look for MRAD mil dot hunting calculator or some version there it'll be the only spreadsheet in there I, there's some printable targets in there too that are handy but uh, so like I said this is really supposed to help the somebody that has never used Mill dots before and wants to effectively use their 
their their mill dot reticle to hunt white tail deer with or any tail deer uh, whether it's white tails whether it's mule deer or whatever because now here's the cool part we went and we plugged all our data in for this gun let's say and and, and you could take this chart and you could print it cut it out and take and tape it to the side of your stock don't do that if you have a pretty wood stock don't you know, you can laminate it and put in a card in your po in, in your pocket. Uh, what I do with these charts when I make them is on a synthetic gun. I'll just take it and I will lay it lengthwise. And uh, I even I, 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 the bullet drops nice to know. Uh, and you can also go in and figure out. If you take that and put it on the side of your gun on the inside of your stock where your cheek lands, you can just quick reference. <coughs> oh, man, there's a deer. Man, that's a big buck. Whoa. You range him. Oh, well, he's three and a half mils. Oh. I range him. He's three and a half mil. All I got to do, uh, no, all I know is I need to do a 1.3 mil hold over on him. It doesn't make shit to me that he's 286 yards away. I know because I've calibrated this to a white-tailed deer, and I've calibrated it to my my rifle. All you got to really print is this. This is absolutely all you have to really print and put on your gun. So, if uh, target height in mils, <coughs> I print this because I want to know it all. Because it has some you know points of reference for other things, but. Uh, yeah, if I range Bambi and it's five mils, half mil hold, flip safety off, send it. If I range Bambi and he ranges at 2.5 mils, it's two and a half mil hold, flip the safety, send it. I mean, it's, it's that quick. So that's what this gets down to is you range Bambi and he is seven mils. Hold him at the crosshairs. You range Bambi and he is one and a half mils. Do a four, five and a half mil hold. Send it. Uh, it really is that fast. So you can put this on the side of a gun. Great for, for children too, uh, incidentally. If you want to get your kids into using mil dots properly, teach them how to range. Teach them to go and go, okay, uh, put the crosshairs on the deer's feet, count the mils, one mil, two mil, two and a half mils. Uh, flip your gun to the side, two and a half mils, two and a half mil hold, boom. Uh, that was the purpose of doing this for people. Uh, I am going to do another video on all the math on how to get here, if you want to know. It's, uh, it's not that hard. It, it's really not. Just a lot of people aren't going to do it in the field. With this handy little thing, I mean, you can get the M, the Mill Dot Master little slide roll card and all that. That's great. But now that I have this gun with this scope in this, let's say, man, I hunt white tiles all day and uh, or all 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 season. And first day of the next season, guy says, or end of season says, man, let's let's go uh, let's go shoot some IDPA targets. At, you know, 600 yards. Man, I only got this gun. I don't want to... Let's just shoot some ID, IDPA targets. Okay, how tall are they? They're 30 inches. We're going to shoot them at 500 yards. So... I would hold 6 mils on it. You got a chance. Uh, you just do. Or, more to the point, let's say you're out there hunting white-tailed deer. And uh, you just go, hey, you know, let's go to Colorado and hunt some elk. I'm shooting myself a male elk, boom. So I got a male, I got that bull elk out there, and uh, I range him, look him up, and man, hey, he looks like he's a long way away, especially if you've been hunting other critters. It, it's misleading. Uh, so you range him at three mils. One mil hold. Oh, that ain't that far away. Send it. He's actually at 546 yards. Uh, 
it really is this easy. Put your uh, put your calculation in there, your height. Put in your rifle ballistics, and you're off to the off to the races. Uh, like I said, I'll fix the dope chart. Full chart's working. Uh, I'm sure the field, full chart's working. Uh, <coughs> and here's another cheat sheet. And this is the cheat sheet I put on there to print and put on the side of your gun. You can do this any way you want. You know, if the deer is 4.5 mils, 0.7, you know, three quarter mil hold, send it. Uh, if the deer is, I mean, honestly, I would print down to half a mil. Anything under a half a mil or maybe a third mil is so nominal for a deer rifle freehand. It's irrelevant, honestly. But you, you can print out whatever you want. You can handwrite it, get it on your gun any way you need. But that's why this is built the way it is. Daily2A.com. Uh, go to the printable target section. You can print this out. Fill it out for every one of your guns. Rename them. I, these are completely edible. You can do anything you want. I uh, I did not lock this. So you, you can change this in any way you want. The math's there. I will tell you this. Go to the data page. And you go all the way down here to the bottom of the data page. I'm sorry. Maybe it's in the full page. Yeah, you go down here and you change any of them numbers, your gun is screwed. Alright? So, uh, or this calculator is screwed. All that stuff down there is the data and the math. It's doing all the math for you. So don't do that. <coughs> uh, I will get the dope section running. Uh, like, share, subscribe, put comments. If there's anything, if there's any way you want to see this, <coughs> excuse me, if there's any way you want to see this evolve, tell me. Uh, if you want, would want to see something else, tell me. Uh, you know, everything I do, I do it for you. Uh, no, seriously, I told you. Cough, said, cough medicine, I'm hopped up. Uh, mill dots, deer hunting, effective, it works. Appreciate you guys watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, have a fantastic day.